Today we're going to look at an operating system that can run on all sorts of devices for retro gaming, uh, whose name I'm almost certainly going to butcher. So today we are talking about Batasera? Maybe? <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's a really interesting operating system that is set up to enable retro gaming on all sorts of devices from Raspberry Pis to Steam Decks and other handhelds to even weird and wonderful Mac Pros. All sorts of devices are supported. So today we're going to take a look at a few of them and see what's capable. So starting with my Raspberry Pi here, which is a Raspberry Pi 5, uh, 16 gigabyte version. You definitely don't need 16 gigabytes of RAM to run this operating system, uh, but this is just what I've got, and it also has an SSD inside. So in terms of getting this working on the Pi, uh, you simply flash the downloaded image to your storage medium, whether it's the SSD or an SD card, and then you boot it up. On first boot up, the system will automatically then fill whatever drive space is available uh, to give you storage for your ROMs. One of the reasons why I particularly like this operating system with my Pi setup is it actually has support for the case that I use, including the tiny little OLED screen and the RGB fans. So that's all supported. You can just enable the service once you're booted up and you're good to go. And once you are booted up, it's just a case of getting your ROMs onto the device, which can be done either by taking out your storage medium and then putting it into another computer and dragging the files on, or automatically, it actually works over the network. So if you're plugged in via Ethernet, uh, it automatically connects, automatically sets up a shared server, so you can drop all your files there. Um, and there's also Wi-Fi support as well, if you configure it to work. And then once all those files are listed and done, Quick reboot and you're good to go. And uh, that's really all that you have to do in terms of setup. It is super, super simple. It supports loads of different controllers out of the box. And I'm really, really impressed. For the Pi, well, it's kind of been the same for a little while now, a few generations, but things like PlayStation 1, Nintendo 64, uh, Dreamcast all run really, really well, uh, as you can see from some of this footage. And of course, anything older is also going to work. So if you are a SNES player or even a NES player or uh, something else, uh, <laughs> retro, retro, it should work no problem at all here. Now, it did seem to have the option for GameCube and Wii as well, but I couldn't actually get either of those to work kind of out of the box. I uploaded my ROMs as normal and neither would work. Uh, the Wii emulator just complained that the controller was disconnected when it wasn't and the GameCube would just crash. So I'm sure with a bit of fiddling that that might work, but nonetheless, it's a really cool little system. And I will say, of course, again, you really don't need the 16 gigabyte version of the Pi to run this. This will work on probably even just the two gigabyte. In fact, checking the RAM usage, it very rarely went above one gig anyway. So you probably get away with just the cheapest two gigabyte version, which is pretty cool. But what about other platforms as well? Well, it also runs, like I mentioned, on handhelds like the Steam Deck. Here you can use a micro SD card and simply flash the image to that SD card and then boot from that SD card. And it works just the same as well. First boot, it will resize everything and then you're good to go. You can upload your ROMs over the network or directly from the SD card and play all your titles again. It really is kind of cool and super, super simple. So this will actually work um, on things like the Steam Deck. You can play slightly more modern, better, 
higher performance things. Things like the PS2 games work absolutely flawlessly. But also Xbox titles work really well here as well. So that kind of generation of console works no problem at all. And again, it's a super smooth experience. So if you want to have a dedicated operating system on your Steam Deck for retro gaming, this is a really, really great option. And like I said, it can be installed to the SD card, so you can dual boot and still keep SteamOS on the SSD. And like I mentioned, it even runs on this trash can. or actually any x86 PC should work as well. And you can boot off a USB drive or install it to the hard drive. Looking at it on the trash can, that's gonna be another video though, because as you might know, if you're watching my channel, we are currently trying to hunt the perfect OS for this trash can, and maybe this is it. That's kind of all I've got to say on this really. It's something I wanted to cover, I wanted to highlight, because it really is that simple. If you're just looking for an all-encompassed system to be able to do retro gaming, perhaps saving it to a USB drive and then being able to boot off any computer that you want or not even touch your normal kind of computer activities and just keep it all concise, this is a really great option. Um, I just love how many different devices they support. I love how simple and easy it is to get straight in. Get everything booted up, everything set up pretty much automatically and just you just drop in the games you want to play and you play them and that's the kind of simplicity that I love for this sort of thing it really is that simple I'm not sure what else to say on the matter because it just works I had no problems on here at all I had no problems on here I had no problems with the trash can it's very impressive that it's working across such a broad range of devices so we are going to wrap it up there for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video and this quick look into a very interesting operating system that I'll definitely be using more in the future for my retro gaming needs, to be honest. It, it does everything I could want. It's great. Uh, can't sing its praises enough, really. It's amazing. All right. So I'm going to leave it there for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. We're still a very small channel, so every single subscription really does make a difference. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.